Hello, this is Victor bringing here a new white wash review and now we are going to make a look to 476 so this is the one in reality from the month of May it just arrived now uh, I know that the, I don't know what's happening but they are arriving a little bit late and no one realizing even the cover is smaller than the magazine okay but it's not a big deal here we have this uh, again the subscriber edition I'm subscribed to ensure that I will have all the numbers and yeah, and sometimes they are not going as expected. So let's make a look what we have here on on the magazine and and yeah, and what is something that is interesting for you or not. So here you will have again the summary of the content. You always can have it here. Uh, we are going to have a part of some kill team: Warhammer, Age of Sigmar, Warcry, Necromunda, uh, Middle Earth, and Black Library. As you can see, they is they are touching. Uh, and of course, um, yeah, we are going to have as well Warhammer uh, Natch Moon as the flashpoint. So it's touching a little bit of everything and not Warhammer Underworlds in that case, okay? One of my favorite games, but it doesn't matter. So here we go. So we start again with the pictures of the um, of meters of the readers and the letters of the readers. Uh, I like a lot this um, IC. One, I will have made the rim not in the same icy thing, I will have made the rim in a maybe dark blue, but this is a, my personal choice. Again, nice, nice painted um, Raven Guard. Uh, yeah, okay, we have uh, Surgeon Reaper Jackson. And then we have the. This, no, there are some nice miniatures. Again, I like a lot this guy here. This is with the. Is a, it's a Setang, but it's converted. I think it's using the, for the name, the, the guy from the Osiarchs. Again, here we have another Osiarch there. Uh, yeah, the special Sister Superior that was released during the COVID period. So here we see I like a lot as well these guys that look like they're coming from a swamp type of um, background. Uh, Warhammer Underworld Warband. So you have some nice, nice paint jobs here. Lady Olander. So you can see, yeah, with the, with, yeah, again, well, some death, wa dead walker zombies. And what is the spotlight this time? I'm just questioning because I don't see. I have not. Maybe I miss it. It was here. Yeah, I think the conversion corner is this mm, dark mechanicum tech priest. I don't think they have the spotlight this time. Okay, it's interesting. Then we go to the walls of Warhammer and there they are going to call how iconography is created and all what uh, what it means. Okay, so here you can have the different iconography and they talk about the how they are created. So if you want to know more details about design, this is the article about design and and, and background and how the, all the games what what are the some principles they follow when they design in rules not rules mm, background and iconography in that case. So here we go now with to Nightmon. We start with the flashpoint of Nightmon. So this is uh, um, mainly history uh, introduction, and then we have the descent into darkness, and then we have the corruption of faith. So here we have. So we are going to have. Uh, now they are traitors, renegade, heretics. So we are going to have rules for heretics. Okay, the corruption of faith, the rapture aftermath. It's all chaos, great mistake. So these are I did not I didn't have time to read this one. I said I just received the white dwarf. But I think this is about looks like about um converting some of your guard into Yeah the corruption. So the previous installments of the flashpoint we presented the rules that allow players to begin to take their crusade force on a radius journey to, of zeal through the stars. However, the worship of some warriors, okay, so now the awful truth is revealed as the, okay, we have here, yeah, right, so, okay, so these are rules for the, for the new, yeah, these are, I think, also uh, in, 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 in uh, yeah, it is in combination with the Rift Wars um, type of rules. Here yeah, you always have is, is to make campaigns and to have some special rule for campaigns. Imperial zealots. Okay, here we have some nicely paint jobs done. 
or is doing here the, this additional cracks. So really nicely done. How we can use as well uh, the contrast paints to all these. And here we have some of the um, paint jobs and conversions that they are really, really looking really, really nice. There are some nice, good ideas. Okay, here we have some Bisman converted into uh, Guardsman. I like this sword with fire here. Also, this guy with this chapel on top. And then we go to the Un Unseen Lurkers. So, this is fiction. Again, we have some background. Then we go to the new rules and we have critical operations and this mission packs. Okay, so we have here new missions for Kill Team. Okay, if you are in Kill Team, here you have new missions to play Kill Team. Uh, what I have not read if these are narrative, I guess they are more on the narrative. On page one, we will find six missions from critical operations and this mission pack. These missions use We'll call sentries, okay, so this is with sentries. Uh, they don't say if it's, I guess it's it's for narrative. I will consider them to be narrative, okay. But I don't know if this can also be used in match play. So here we have, then we have operation briefing and uh, makes a closer look from behind the cover to a line sight. Okay, so they are looking at the line of sight rules. If you want more, more um, insights, and now we go to the Warhammer um, Age of Sigmar, where we have first uh, the rules engagement. Um, they are going to make a look to the new Nine Hound rules. This is interesting for me because I'm really. Uh, I really want to start using my Night Hound army. Uh, that becomes them. So here we have uh, this is a battle report. Okay, so we are going to have a big battle report. Um, here we have the. I think this is well from the Legend of the Four armies, I think. And we have the Death one, the, the one from the Death against the one from the cities of Sigmar but this is a Celestan Prime so cities of Sigmar have the Celestan Prime and maybe then we have uh, Dark Shards, Long Bears, Iron Drakes, Phoenix Guard yeah there is only the only the only uh, Stormcast is the Celestan Prime then there is a, a Rune Lord and a phoenix and a, sorcer a sorceress. Okay. Then we have the big battle. Here we have we we'll have a nice battle report here to enjoy. I will, as usual, I will skip this one to avoid. Yeah, I cannot shoot this one to avoid to um to yeah to spoil um the end of the battle. We have some cards here for um war cry. Then we go to the realm of best, so we have the realm escapes. Okay, I want to talk about the realm of beasts. Okay. And we have a tomb celestial, so this time we have um, for the Edenites of Slanish. And here we have additional rules to play Edenites of Slanish for open match and path of glory. Okay, so open match and narrative game. So here we have some rules for match play. Uh, we have new one strategies, battle tactics, and core battalions. Then we have the rules for Path of Glory. And yeah, we have here a clutch of ages, is a campaign. Okay. That you can play. Okay, there is a lot of things in this way dwarf. Um, these days, okay, the, you can see there is a, some paint explanation, what paints they use, some showcase, I think this is great, and these were the cards that were coming there in, in Carvolt, okay. So here we have the work by rules, so now we go to the work by rules, and yeah, and here we are going to have um, yeah, new campaigns, and as well the new profiles for the guys that were coming in the box, right, so you have now the crossbow men here, 
the new Scriptor Mortis and the high Gladiatrix. So you can use as well the, this box to play Warcry, the box that was coming the the Daughters of Cain against the Ghosts. Here we have some campaigns. Okay, you can play. Spoils of Victory. And then we go to the underdogs and this is Necromunda. Okay. So yeah. So in case you are the underdogs, so here you have some rules and we have some missions to play. And then we go to the one ring to roll them all, so meaning that we are now on the Middle Earth. Here we have a lot of invisible people. And yeah, to be fair, it's a tactical thing. I'm not too much into Middle Earth, so I cannot recommend there. And finally, we go to the Black uh, Library. Uh, a hundred of the saints. Okay, so this is a, a black library in history. Again, uh, it's really nice to have all well some some history adding to the background. And we go back to the inside of the studio where they have the bingo going on and the paint jobs they are doing. So here we have a purple sun and then this uh, nice uh, idvasta. Okay, we have here some fire layers, some magma bases, and they talk about the escape, um, escape the material. So it's a new escape room. So better not to read this one if you want to do the escape room. It's going to be difficult for me to go there. And here we have some soul lights. Nice, nice paintings. And that's all. So this is what you have in White Dwarf 176. So that's all for this video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please give a like if you have liked the video. Share if you think that people can be tested. And as usual, thanks a lot for watching. And see you again later. Bye.